Solar hot water systems are generally backed up with conventional water heaters and can be added to homes with existing conventional systems. These systems make even more economic sense for new homes and for refinancing. The initial costs of solar hot water systems are generally more expensive than conventional systems, but in the long term they can save money. A solar hot water system can lower domestic heating bills between 50 to 80 percent on average. There are five major components in active solar water heating systems. Collectors to capture solar energy, a circulation system to move a fluid between the collectors to a storage tank, a storage tank, a backup heating system, and a control panel to regulate the overall system operation. Solar hot water systems are most commonly used to heat water for basic household needs such as laundry, bathing, dishwashing, and cooking. The solar collectors, often located on the roof, capture incoming solar radiation and warm the heat transfer fluid, which travels to the heat exchanger in order to heat the water in the storage tank. Flat plate collectors are the most common type currently used and are insulated, weatherproof, glazed boxes that contain a dark absorber plate under layers of glass or plastic to absorb solar energy. An indirect circulation system circulates non-freezing heat transfer fluid through the collectors and a heat exchanger, which heats the water entering the home and is suitable for homes in climates like Maine with freezing temperatures. Uh, my name is Al Heath. Uh, I live in Arousic and I've lived here uh, since 1980. I just wanted to reduce my dependence on electricity or other fossil sources of energy and free energy is always a, a great idea to me. The whole house was built to be super efficient and solar was definitely part of my part of my plan from the very beginning. The hot water system didn't go on the house until a year after the initial construction was finished. The first three months in November, December, January are the three least solar months of the year um, <clears throat> and our electric bills were down 35 percent each one of those months and in our most recent electric bill, which I just got the other day, is down 45%. We're probably at this point cutting our electric, uh, use of electricity for hot water uh, 40 to 50%, and I'm hoping we're just now coming into the most productive time of the year. Um, overall, I'm hoping to replace 60 to 80% of our electrical usage. We still use the electric for backup. For when there is no sun for extended period. Most systems in this area, depending on what sort of parts you're using, are six to $8,000 for a person right. household. The state offers a $1,250 solar uh, tax break, which I've already received. And as a matter of fact, I just cut my federal taxes back, and it's a $2,000 tax credit. Uh, the estimated lifespan of this system is 30 years, so. I have an original, initial investment of about $3,000, maybe $3,200, and I've estimated that it, the system will pay for itself in five, maybe six years. In New England, 80% of our electricity generated from coal, or oil, natural, you know, natural gas, uh, so it's very petroleum oriented, so if I could cut down my electric bill uh, 50 to 70%, that's using that much less um, petroleum-based fuels. In a normal four-person household, it's about half to two-thirds of the total use of energy in the house because it takes a lot of energy to heat hot water. So if you can replace 80, 70, 80 percent of that with free, non-polluting energy, the impact is potentially huge. The technology needs to be widespread use. It needs to be as common as a electric water heater <clears throat> is to go around and see solar panels on people's roofs. The investment of a solar hot water system can make both economic and environmental sense. 
It is a realistic option for Maine home and business owners, and it is a step away from a carbon-based society and toward one based on the principles of sustainability.